Hey everyone, Jason here from Red Stallion Media. How's it going? Today I have an, uh, an audio tutorial. Um, I don't know much about audio. I know enough to um, get me by on most of my shoots. Uh, but when it comes down to it, if it's something that's really critical, I hire someone that knows what they're doing with audio. That's very specific. It's... It's like if I, I know how to hammer a nail, but that doesn't mean I know how to build a house. So I hire someone that can build a house, and then along the way I might learn a few things from them. But what I have today is I'm working on this project, and there's there's like a power outage, and music comes comes like the pitch shift comes down, and it's like a turntable's almost stopping. So we're in audition. We have. You know, we have this little little track and at the end we want to add the slow down effect so we're going to put an in point and you know have the out point at the end uh, we go to effects time and pitch and then we go down to stretch and pitch so the defaults will roughly be this um, you want to go over to audition and it gives you all these new parameters so what do you want to do is you want to uh, make sure it, stretch might be already uh, picked if it's if it is check uh, pitch shift and this will probably be at zero I did this once already and it kind of saves my parameters so if we put this back at zero our songs our songs roughly the same right so what we're going to do is we're going to keep this at zero and then we're going to bring this down the final pitch shift that means it's starting regular and slowly fading into the um, pitch shift as if it's slowly coming to a stop this will have to where what you have for um, your final pitch shift depends on what your final product is but if we just throw it all the way That's basically that's basically it. And you know, if you want to do it to the whole video, you can, you know, just make sure it's all highlighted and you can do it to the whole thing. Just go in and, and redo it and everything should be still there. Um This is Adobe Audition CS six, I believe. Yes, CS six. Earlier um Adobe Audition uh software I think has like a pitch bender. Um, which makes it a lot easier for some reason. I had to look up how to do this in CS6, but this is how it's done. If you have any questions, let me know if you have know an easier way to do this. If you know a way how to do this in Premiere without having to send to Audition, let me know, because that would also be awesome. Um, but this is how you do it. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave them in the comments.